Eddie and Lucy decided to go camping in the forest for the weekend. However, they didn't know that it was protected by an angry spirit who didn't like intruders. He appeared in front of them and said, You have set foot into my forest uninvited. You will not be able to leave. Forget your home. With it, you will never be reunited. We apologize. We didn't know the forest belonged to you. Please let us out. We won't ever come back. Lucy cried. The spirit replied, I'll show you mercy for you are sincere. Mysteries of my forest await you. Solve them all and you will be able to leave. Then he magically teleported them to the deepest, darkest part of the forest and vanished out of sight. As Eddie and Lucy walked around trying to find their way out of the forest, they came upon a river. They had to cross it to continue their journey. There were three different bridges in front of them. Which one should they choose to move to the other side? Do you see the weird river monster hiding under the stone bridge? It looks dangerous. And the wooden bridge looks so old, it can crash at any minute. So, they should choose this one. After Eddie and Lucy crossed the bridge, they saw three different paths in front of them. The first road led to a cave where giant hungry trolls were living. The second road led to the house of evil witches who needed human blood for a spell they were casting that would allow them to stay young forever. And the third road led to a swamp where an eight-headed snake was waiting for its prey. Which path should they follow? They should choose the third road because if you look carefully, you can see that up ahead, the road is forked too. It means that there's a fourth path they can take if they continue walking on this one, and they won't end up in the swamp after all. When they arrived at the end of the fourth path, they saw a wizard's hut. They thought he might be able to help them, but the gate was locked. When they tried to force it open, a magical quill came flying towards them from one of the windows of the hut and started writing a riddle in the air. The only being who can let you in is my familiar Arthur the Owl. He must be sleeping on a tree at this hour. To convince him, you must bring him his favorite flower. Yet, if you cannot spot him in the next few seconds, I can't help you. And forever in this forest, you'll have to wander. Can you spot where the owl is? Look there. Eddie and Lucy managed to spot not one, but three owls standing on a tree branch. Only one of them was Arthur. If they don't figure out which one of them is Arthur, they won't be able to get help from the wizard. The first owl said, The third owl is not Arthur. The second owl said, I am not Arthur. And the third owl said, I am Arthur. However, only one of them was telling the truth, and the others were lying. Can you figure out which one is Arthur? If the first owl was Arthur, then both he and the second owl would be telling the truth. If the third owl was Arthur, then he and the first owl would be telling the truth. But only one of them is telling the truth, remember? So the second owl must be Arthur. Once Eddie and Lucy figured out which one was Arthur, the remaining owls flew away. Then Lucy asked him what his favorite flower was. Arthur answered with a riddle. I can grow very tall. I am of the color yellow. When I am young, I follow the closest star in the sky. Can you tell what flower I am? Arthur's favorite flower is the sunflower. Eddie and Lucy had to bring a sunflower to Arthur for him to let them in. They asked him where they could find one, and Arthur told them that they could get it from the sunflower field that was located between the cornfield and the wheat field. When they asked which direction they should go, Arthur said this. If you went east, took a right turn, covered some distance in that direction, then took a left turn, and finally took another left turn, which direction would you be facing? That's the direction you must go. Can you tell what direction that is? It's north. After Eddie and Lucy had walked for some time, an angry leprechaun jumped onto them out of nowhere and knocked them out with fairy dust. They opened their eyes in a prison cell. The leprechaun said, You stole my pot of gold and you're going to stay in this prison until you tell me where you hid it. Eddie said, We don't know anything about your gold. 
but the leprechaun didn't believe him. Suddenly, Lucy saw something strange that could help them. There was another prison cell in front of them with three different prisoners. Lucy noticed that one of them was going to try to escape. She suggested making a deal with the leprechaun. She said, I will tell you which prisoner is planning to escape if you let us go. He's probably the one who stole your gold, and I promise we'll help you find it once you free us. The leprechaun agreed to the terms. Take a look at these three prisoners. Can you tell who's trying to escape? It's the third prisoner. He has a map sticking out of his pocket. He must be up to something. The leprechaun took the map from that prisoner and let Lucy and Eddie go. He said, But now you have to help me find my pot of gold. Lucy noticed a couple of notes at the back of the escape map. The first one said, Find the pot of gold in the fields of gold. What do you think that means? Remember what Arthur said? He informed Lucy and Eddie about three different fields, sunflower, corn, and wheat. These three things are all yellow or golden. It could only mean that the leprechaun's pot of gold is in one of these fields. The road from the leprechaun's prison to the fields was foggy. They lost their way and arrived at part of the forest that even the leprechaun didn't even know about. Eddie immediately noticed three unusual things. Can you spot them? Even though it's still daytime, the place is dark. The mushrooms on the ground are actually tiny houses. And finally, one of the butterflies flying there in the distance is no butterfly at all. It's a fairy! As soon as Eddie spotted the fairy, it flew next to them and said, The fairy mother wanted me to bring everyone food, but when I asked what she wanted, she only said this. Remove the outside, cook the inside, eat the outside, and throw away the inside. What I want is what this is. But I don't know what that means. Can you help me, please? Do you know the answer? It's a corn on the cob. The fairy thanked them for helping her. Lucy then told her that they were actually on their way to the sunflower, corn, and wheat fields, but they had lost their way. The fairy told them she was going there to get the corn on the cob or two. They all followed her and arrived at the fields. After the fairy got her corn, she asked them what they were looking for. The leprechaun said, We're looking for my pot of gold. The fairy told them that there was a maze in all three fields. At the center of each maze, there was a pot of gold. But only one pot had real gold in it, and the others were fake. The real one was in the maze that had the shortest way from start to center. Can you tell which one that is? It's the sunflower maze. The leprechaun, happy to get his gold back, bid farewell to Eddie and Lucy. They picked a sunflower for Arthur and headed back to the wizard's hut. On their way there, they heard a scream. They ran toward it and saw three princesses. They all said they needed help because two monsters were following them. Only one of them was a real princess who was telling the truth. The other two were actually monsters. Can you tell who? The real princess is the second one. If you look closer, you can see that the first princess has a monster's tail, and the third princess has tiny ogre ears. So she would be one of the monsters chasing the real princess too. After helping the princess, Eddie and Lucy arrived at the hut and gave Arthur the sunflower. In return, he let them in. The wizard greeted them and asked what he could do for them. They said they wanted to get back home. The wizard said he knew a spell to open a portal. But the special ingredient he needed was coded. The wizard showed them the page in the spell book. Can you tell what the special ingredient is? It's one piece of feather from a crow. The wizard prepared the spell, but something went wrong with it. And instead of one, three magical portals appeared. Behind the first one, they could see a knight holding an axe. Behind the second one, they could see a robot shooting lasers from its eyes. Behind the third one, they could see a vampire with a dagger in his hands. Only the safest one would transport them home. Which one is it? It's the door with the vampire, of course. The dagger is silver, and vampires can't touch that. That must only mean he is not a real vampire, maybe some guy in a costume. 
Who knows? Everyone who wants to work in a secret laboratory in the mysterious city of T has to pass a test. If you solve at least half of these riddles, you'll land the job. Level 1. Here, each correct answer will bring you one point. Even when it passes in front of the sun, it doesn't cast a shadow. What is it? It's the wind. Look at these logos of one of the largest sportswear manufacturers. Which is the correct one? Look at these pretty fish. One of them is different from the rest. Which one is it? This one in the middle. Its eyes are slightly bigger than those of the others. Look at this rebus riddle. Can you figure out what it means? It's one in a million. Move one match to fix this equation. Right you are. Nine minus nine is indeed zero. Can you remove five matchsticks to get five equal triangles? That's how you do it. Tricky. Now, let's see how attentive you are. Look at these two logos. Which of them is the correct one? The one at the bottom. Two moms, two daughters, one granny, and one granddaughter enter a cafe. How many chairs will they need to sit around the table? Just three. Look at this image. It's filled with room, room, room. Can you find the odd word? Yep, there's a boom among all those rooms. What stones will you never find in a river? Dry ones, of course. Look at this rebus riddle. What does it mean? It's happy hour. Which Burger King logo is the correct one? It's the one on the right. You're only allowed to move one matchstick to make a square. How will you do it? Who said it was against the rules? James is carrying a barrel that weighs 60 pounds. What can the guy add to it to make it weigh 40 pounds? All James needs to add is a hole. No one said cheating is prohibited. Find a number that doesn't belong here. Right you are. 280 is different from all these 208s. Well, so far so good. Let's spice it up a bit. Level 2. Keep in mind that you'll get two points for each correct answer at this level. Look at these matches. Can you remove two matches to leave only four squares? That's how you do it. Great! Oof, these logos look pretty much the same to me. Which one is correct?
the one on the top is the right one. Divide 30 by half and add 10. What will you get? The correct answer is 70. Most people divide 30 by 2, add 10, and get 25. But when you add a number by a fraction, you should actually multiply it by the number below the line called the denominator. This way, 30 times 2 plus 10 equals 70. Now, how about this? Look at these TikTok logos. Which one is the real logo of the world-famous app? No peeping. Right, the lower layer is red, then we've got black in the middle, and the turquoise layer is the top one. It took a witch eight years to finish digging the deepest well in the world. Every next year, she managed to double its depth. How many years did it take the well to reach half of its maximum depth? Seven years. If the witch doubled the well's depth every year, it had to be half its final depth the year before it was completed. How can you pop a balloon with a knife without bursting or losing air in the process? Deflate the balloon. Only after that, stick the knife through it. Which is the exact shadow of the fish on the left? Well, it was tough, but I found the correct one. You're playing table tennis when your last ball falls into a one-foot-deep, narrow metal pipe embedded into the concrete floor. How can you get the ball out of the pipe if all you have is your tennis paddle, a plastic bottle filled with water, and your shoelaces? Pour the water from your bottle into the hole. The ball will float to the surface. You need to fill two empty sacks with coffee from the first sack. All three sacks are of the same size. How can you do it? Put one of the empty sacks into the other and then fill it with coffee. There are 100 books on the shelf. To count off 10 of them, you'll need 10 seconds. How much time will you spend counting off 80 books? Just 20 seconds. You'll need this time to count off 20 books, and the rest will make 80. Look at this picture. Who's the safest person here? It's the elderly lady who's driving the car. She will have no problems with her health whatsoever. Adam added 6 to 11 and got 5. It was the correct answer. How is it possible? It's correct if we talk about time. It's 11 a.m. If you add 6 hours, it'll be 5 p.m. Look at these logos. Which one is different? The logo on the left is the correct one. Pay attention to the robot's antenna. How can you take 1 from 19 and get 20? You can easily do it if you use Roman numerals. See for yourself. Three cats can catch three mice in three minutes. How long will it take ten cats to catch ten mice? The same three minutes. No more, no less. Wow, this level made me sweat a bit. Level 3. Now this is the toughest level. 
That's why each correct answer equals three points. Let's start with a matchstick puzzle. How can you arrange to get three equal squares? This is the way to do it correctly. Can you figure out what's wrong in this picture? Roses don't grow on the seafloor. The same picture, but the mistake is different this time. Spiders don't live underwater. But then, where did this spider web come from? You need to get into your rival's computer, but it's password protected. The only hint you have is a note you found hidden under the keyboard. Can you figure out what the password is? It's moonlight. The number in front of each word refers to the corresponding letter of this word. An experimental clothing store decided to introduce a curious pricing scheme. According to it, a coat will cost $80, a pair of jeans will be $100, a raincoat will cost $160, and for a skirt, you will have to pay $80. Can you figure out how much a tie will cost in this store? $60. For each letter of the item's name, the store charges $20. There's a low railroad bridge in your town, and there's a car tunnel under it. One day, you spot a large truck. It's parked right in front of the tunnel. A confused driver is walking around the vehicle. You come up to him and ask what happened. It turns out that the truck is just a few inches higher than the allowed height. If the man drives inside, the car will get stuck. Unfortunately, there's no other road leading to the driver's destination. How can the truck get through the tunnel? You can suggest the driver should let the air out of the tires. It'll make the truck just the needed height. The driver can deal with the flat tires after passing through the tunnel. Look at this clock face. You need to divide it into three equal parts so that the sum of numbers inside these parts is the same. You can use no more than two lines. That's the way to go. The total of each part is 26. One woman could only use a payphone to make her calls. Once, the phone she'd been using broke. The woman informed the phone company. Several days had passed, but they did nothing. Then, the lady came to the company and asked to talk to the manager. After this conversation, the phone was immediately fixed. What did the woman say? She said she'd seen people making calls without paying. Look at this picture very attentively. Can you spot the mistake? Oh ho, you need to have excellent observation skills to notice this. You need to make sure that an egg falls 50 feet and doesn't break. You can't slow down its fall or cushion its landing. How will you do it? Drop the egg from a height bigger than 50 feet, and for the first 50 feet, it won't break. And now, probably the most exciting part of this test, your results. If your score is 0 to 25 points, you might need some more time before you get a job in the laboratory. Try to concentrate on details and don't forget to practice every day. If you've got 26 to 50 points, you're almost there. You might even get the position of a trainee in that super secret facility. And if you've got 51 to 75 points, those working in the secret research lab would be begging you to join them. Your logical thinking and analytical skills would definitely come in handy there.